Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for the promised Q&A video to celebrate me reaching 500 subscribers, 500 amazing supporters that I, you know, I can't thank you so much for each and every one of you for actually sticking with me and just supporting me because it means so much. So I did promise you a Q&A video and lots of you came in with very good questions and I'm going to answer them for you right now. Let me just say that if I forget to say your name it will come up on the screen so don't worry and if I pronounce it wrong please do I do apologize and um, I hope you don't mind that I'm not the best at pronouncing things but um, let's get started okay so whole simmer 18 asked me what made you start YouTube and um, well I was I've I've always loved the Sims you know and I've always liked watching the Sims because I actually the first Let's Player I started watching was Queen. And unfortunately she's died and everything, but um, I really did love her videos and I loved her personality, you know. It was so genuine and so funny and I really do miss her, but that's why um, I did watch them. And then I started to watch um, Live Simmer and I loved her Generations LP and everything, but I, and um, her Sims 4 LP, but I've actually I've stopped watching her now because she did start her Get to Work LP and I did tune in for the first episode but um, I didn't stick through it because I was currently busy watching a few other LPs that I'll mention later and uh, there wasn't really enough time to watch Life Sims as well so I have really stopped watching her but I do like, occasionally check into a channel see what she's got but um, I do like Christina and everything but you know that's just what happens but what made me start YouTube was actually X Urban Sims X, aka the amazing and wonderful Jen, because she started her bachelor challenge and I really loved it. I really, really loved it. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, that is so cool. It's the first challenge that I've actually genuinely like wanted to try myself, like you know, wanted to. There's other challenges I love as well, like um I like I like a few other challenges too, but this was one like, oh my god, this is actually fun, you know, it's short, which is why I wanted I didn't want like a really long challenge and it was fun and I really enjoyed it and I said, you know what, I'm going to start one too. I'm going to start this challenge on my channel and see if people like it. And actually it turns out a few of you do. You know, so that is really good because I'm having so much fun playing with it. And actually I just filmed a part right now. So that will be coming in, in a couple of weeks. Because I pre-filmed because I'm going away. But that was just that. So that really made me start YouTube. And I thought, I've seen all these other people do it. And why not I? Why can't I do it, you know? That's the thing. Don't stop... Like, don't let anything stop you doing what you want to do. If you want to start a channel, go for it, okay? Just go for it. That's my advice to you all, really. But yeah, that's what made me start YouTube, the Bachelor Challenge, and I thought, I want to do it too. So I started. Okay. The next question is from Aisha, and she said, How did you discover The Sims? Now, this is a good story. I've written it on my blog as well. So if you haven't checked my blog, the link will be down below. So check it out. But, um, I started YouTube... Um, no, oh, I got confused. <laughs> I um, discovered The Sims when I was eight, and I went, I think I was seven or eight, I think I was eight maybe, and I went around my cousin's house, and they were playing The Sims, which was The Sims 1, and I was like, oh my god, this is cool, I've always loved, um, I used to love playing with my Barbies, and like making stories, you know, not just playing, oh, let's go to the shops, I used to play stories, develop stuff, and draw family trees for them, and everything, I just used to love telling stories, and making stories, and I was like, I can do this on the computer and I can do it in a whole new different way and that's really how I discovered it and that's how I fell in love with The Sims I've been playing since Sims 1 and I'll probably play it till The Sims like 100 I will keep playing The Sims even when I'm old I'll be playing The Sims because I love it it's my all time favourite game ever hands down it's the best so that's how I discovered The Sims and Sims Life asked me what's your goal for this channel I don't really have like a set goal my main goal is probably to create videos that you guys all want to see and that you all enjoy really there's not really like a set goal I have said oh I want like a thousand subscribers or ten thousand subscribers it's just like I want I want a channel that you to that you to that you enjoy watching and that I enjoy creating because I'm always going to create videos that I enjoy making I'm not going to create them just for fun but well I mean you know I will create them for fun but I meant like I will I will always make videos as long as you guys enjoy watching them so that's really my goal just to provide entertainment for you and have fun while doing it I mean who doesn't love playing the sims right so I'll have fun making the videos as long as you have fun watching them okay the next question is from crazy simming and he asked 
what inspired you to do YouTube? So, again, it was, um, I saw everybody else doing it, I thought, why can't I do it? And it's mainly that, um, uh, Jen, I got inspired a lot by Jen, really. A hell of a lot. She inspired me to create my channel because I saw her batch of challenge. I was like, I love it. I want to do something like that. So I think, yep, she did. She did enjoy. I, d I uh, I'm all tongue-tied now. But she inspired me, definitely. Okay, and Lisa asked, if you could only play one sim game gets ugh, one sims game forever and it was out of all four games and stuff packs and expansion packs what would you choose i would choose the sims 4 yep i know out sims 1 sims 2 sims 3 sims 4 sims 1 is all always going to be awesome you know because it started from the bottom now we hear type situation right it started off everything and i fell in love with the sims franchise since then so that will always be good as well. Sims 2, I loved it. My, how much of an upgrade was Sims 2 from Sims 1? Like, incredible. You know, there was, like, I just, wow, when that Sims 2 came, I was like, oh my god, it, the game has improved so much. And I love Sims 2. I loved Open for Business. It was the best game ever. So I really loved that. And Sims 3, I loved Sims 3. You know, I did love it. And the reason why I like Sims 4 over Sims 3 is because there's less lag. Like, with the whole open world thing. But I do miss the, um, well I miss toddlers obviously, and I miss, um, and I miss the colour color tool wheel thingy, blah, blah. but you know, you can't have them all, and I'm sure the Sims will give us tod toddlers eventually, they have to, because everyone's asking for them, but Sims 4 is by all times favourite, because it's probably because it's like, I just love what you can do in Kaz, and the build, and how the stories can develop more in a way that, um, I just love the Sims 4, it's just my favourite, I know we haven't even had that many game packs, like expansion packs yet, but I just love it. I love The Sims 4. It's my favourite. It's definitely my favourite. Okay, the next question is from Danica. And I love that name. It's my favourite name. Of in The Sims 3, I had one Sim called Danica. And I loved her. She's my favourite. But she said, what's your favourite LP by a Simmer that's not you? Now, I have... I kind of have... Oh, no. Okay, well, I, there's three LPs that I'm currently obsessed with at the moment. Um... One is by Delhi, her Twins LP, and I really did wish I started watching um, her normal Sims 4 LP, but the thing is I was watching Life Simmers at the time, I didn't really know much about Delhi, and I didn't really watch much of her videos, but I did watch her Barbie LP, but I stopped that because I was, there was too many LPs I was watching and I couldn't keep up with them. And so yeah, Delhi's Twins for sure, I love the drama and that is so fun, it is so fun, I love that, I love Delhi, and I really do wish I watched that, so maybe one day I'll have to binge and watch that. But I, I love her LPs so much. And also, two LPs by Jen. The, her Lux Life LP and her Get to Work LP. Oh my god, that girl can play with drama for days. I love it, I'm addicted to both of those. And again, I wish I watched, started watching her Legacy Challenge when she started it. Because I was watching Life Simmers videos and I just kind of got a bit mixed and matched. But you know, may I, have, I may have a deli and Jen binge one day. So you never know. But that's, those are my top three LPs. I couldn't choose one because they're all my favourite. Okay, the next question, quest question, the next question, I sound New Zealandish. What has been, was, is by Galaxy Simmer and he said, what has been your greatest moment on YouTube? I kind of have a few. Um, I know it says what has been your greatest, but I can say a few. Meeting like all of you great people and just interacting with you guys and it's just been so much fun and I love it. I've met some so many cool people along the way. Another moment is, um, when I did um, I did a makeover on Delhi's twins for her twins LP when they turned adults in my own gameplay. I did a makeover on them, and um, she she watched it and she loved it and she commented on it. Said it was really good. She told me to keep up the amazing work, and then also she shouted me out in her video. She's like, "Oh my god, I just watched it," and I was like, "Oh my god, I got shouted out by Delhi." She did it twice in two of her twins LP videos. I was like, "Oh my god." I was so happy, I was like, oh my god, Delhi shouted me out, I like fangirled for ages. And then also my other moment is when Jen, she did a Q&A video and she answered my question and she called me official girly Simba. <laughs> the official girly Simba and um, she answered my question and she subscribed to me on my channel and um, she follows me on Twitter and so does Delhi. Delhi follows me on Twitter since I did her makeover video and it's just like, it's just, they're so good. Two of my favourite Simmers that have... Like interacted with me and like spoken to me, so that's my greatest moment probably, and as well as meeting all of you wonderful people. Okay, the next question is from Therese or Therese, Therese, Therese. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm so sorry because it's like Therese. I know there's a way of saying it, but um, 
She's so nice and sweet. But she said, what is the best thing about making YouTube videos? You lot. It's you lot. Every single one of you. I get to meet so many cool people. I've made so many amazing friends. You know, and it's just interacting with you lot. And having fun because Sims is my hobby. It's my passion. It's everything. And I can make videos about it. I mean, hello. I love it. So it's just like, I'll always keep making YouTube videos, you know, as long as you guys want to watch them. So that's the best thing, really. You guys enjoying it and giving me feedback. That's all I can say. Okay, Shauna Plays asks, what do you enjoy in your spare time? Well, apart from playing The Sims, obviously, I, um, I love watching TV, you know, I love watching like reruns of Friends. I have all the box set of the DVDs. I love Friends, Hello, and Charmed, and um, just random TV and movies and stuff. And obviously, I have a dog, and I love walking him, and I go to the park with him, so it's all good. And meet up with my friends, obviously, but... The spare time is pretty much taken up by The Sims. <laughs> so that is that really. Okay, and Dainty Sim asks, who's your favourite music artist? Now this is a tough one because I don't really have a favourite. Well, I haven't had a favourite for a long time, really. Well, I used to like Girls Aloud when they were there, a UK girl band. They split up now, but they were my favourite when I was young. I still are, actually. I still, have, I still listen to their music. Occasionally it comes on shuffle on my iPod. So obviously, you know, Cheryl Cole, she, she's one of the singers there. I like her songs that she makes. So, you know, I don't really have a favourite. I just listen to all types of music. Like, this is this funny thing. I, I would listen to rap music. I'll listen to R&B music. I'll listen to pop, you know, the standard stuff. I listen to everything. So I don't really have favourite anymore. But I listen to everybody. Like, Taylor Swift I listen to. I'll even listen to Katy Perry. I know Taylor Swift and Katy Perry, they have the whole thing going on. But I love them both. And I like both of their songs. So that's really another thing. Um, so yeah, that's really it. I don't really have a favourite anymore. But... That's who I like. Okay, Tiger Lily, she asked two questions because she wasn't sure if any had been asked before. Tiger Lily is so sweet, I love her builds. Um, she said, where are you from? Well, I'm from London. So that is me, I'm from London and you know, I've, yep, I'm from London, what else can I say? From London. <laughs> and she also asked, are you a girly girl or tomboy? Now this is an interesting question because I don't consider myself to be a girly girl. Even though my favourite colour is pink, my favourite colour has always been pink. I'm not a girly girl. You know, I don't I don't always wear pink all the time. I don't, like, get my nails done or anything like that. I, I do it myself. I paint them myself. But I'm not a girly girl. And I'm not a tomboy either. I'm not, I'm not on that side either. I'm kind of smack bang in the middle. I do love pink, but I don't like it. But I don't like to be too, like, girly girl. So, well, I like makeup and everything, but I'm not, I don't think consider myself girly girly, like, you know, your typical stereotypical girly girl, like, you know, I'm not like your typical girly girl. I don't think there's anything wrong with being that, or being a tomboy, but I don't consider myself either of those. I am, like I said, I'm not a girly girl, but my favourite colour is pink, but I'm not a complete tomboy. I'm just kind of your average, everyday girl, really. That's what I am, your everyday middle, middle of the road girl. So that's it. So yeah. That's all the questions I've answered. I really enjoyed doing this and I hope, you know, you've gotten to know me a little bit more from this because I know, like, I'm behind a screen and you don't really know me in that sense, but you just, I don't really, I do a little bit of talking in my videos, like, extra, but I think this is, this is, you really got to know me in this. So, I really hope you enjoyed this Q&A video and I will do more if you want me to and, yeah, I don't know really what else to say. You, you practically know all about me now. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video I do. But for now, bye guys.